up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Bucksburg, South Africa, Magnifico! And now, Jimmy's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice punch man over the top. Good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. Can I take many of those kicks? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look 
looking for that left hand, just missed. Counter jab, snaps the head back, that'll get his attention. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he's got it going now, nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Oh, nice jab. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That kick blocked by Lee. Got clip with the right hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. How good is that right hand? Oh, collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Big head kick! Take him down! Not there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice looping punch. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside. Oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. While well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Got the single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just missed with the left there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Right hand on point. Ooh, what a head kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done.
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Great punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Pretty good right hand. Oh. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Good march. Straight right, he misses. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, big punch land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, missed on that one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. You got to check these low leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Big kick land. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not... Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left hook there. He's giving him so many different things right now. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. He has a commitment to get it right in his show. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's trying to take the He got a bad. Oh, he might be out. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Let me see. Deep breath, man. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to...
follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. body strikes he's making up for lost time here shot to the body connects and that bears watching that's gonna hurt this opponent nice strike oh man head kick lands oh nice oh and there's that head kick he kept talking about the opening that would be there on thursday those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. He's looking for that left hand. It's not there. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He gets tattooed by that straight punch. Now connects with a right. Ball oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice punch, Lance. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice right hand coming. Nice head kick. Slits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Goes to the body there. Great punch. Big leg kick lands. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. Big kick. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what we're doing.
Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Sit right here. Trying to go. Oh, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, no. Oh, big left. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch. Oh. He Defensively. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing them legs, chasing triangles. Gets up again here, but her big kick land. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth Hunt-Dragon so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.